We've all seen this next trick. It's called the three cube box. As always, a little performance helps our magician make the illusion seem more spectacular than it really is. One of the assistants steps inside the box and the magician closes and locks the doors. For effect, he checks his blades to prove to the audience that they're solid. Then he hands his assistant a red handkerchief. This is to help sell the illusion. He feigns resistance, as if the blades are actually cutting into him. But we know that can't be happening because the assistant is still smiling, even though the blades appear to be passing right through her. Now for the second blade. Again, he pretends to be having a tough time pushing it through. She waves in order to show that those hands are really hers. The middle section of the box is slid apart. The hanky's moving. She's still alive. The magician gives you a look at all sides of the box. Then he waves his hand through the missing portion to prove that the trick isn't done with mirrors. It appears that her middle is gone. He pushes the box back into place. One at a time, the blades are removed. He unlocks the door, and our assistant gets out. All in one piece. To show you how this trick is done, we've removed the middle section of the box. You won't believe how simple this one is. First, our assistant steps into the box, and our magician locks her inside. Then all she does is turn her body sideways and suck in her stomach. Now notice the blades. The handle is considerably wider than the blade itself, an important fact that is concealed by magicians. This creates the illusion that the blades are the same width as the box and are cutting into the assistant. But we can tell that she's really not in any danger. Now the second blade is inserted into the box. It slides right past her leg. When the magician moves the middle section across, we can see that our assistant's body never moves. Instead, the box moves around her. Take another look in slow motion. Another key to the trick is this vertical strip. Because it's black, it blends in perfectly with the black background, making it appear that the center box has moved further than it really has. Pretty simple, huh?